Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another Planet Coaster video. So today we're going to continue building on our main entrance to our, our Dwarven Fortress. And uh, my whole goal is to kind of build this thing up more and give it some more depth, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to make two or three more tiers today on it, uh, somewhere around there. I guess I've already done it. I'm just kind of going back over what my thoughts were when I was building it. Uh, you guys seem to really like this format, and a lot of you uh, really, really enjoyed um how I'm doing this now with trying to, what's the word, try to explain what I'm doing. That's the hard thing, is explaining what I'm doing. Instead of just building it all live to, to explain it and see what we can do. So today's video, I, I had a lot of troubles with the entrance, and I have been for quite a while because it's three wide, and most of the blocks are even. So everything's like a, a base on two or base on four, or even just one, and there weren't any blocks I could fit in between where I just put those walls up for the, the top, the palisade, or, or whatever it's called. I'm not so sure what they're called. Fortification. And I also figured out how to use the, the copy and paste tool. So that helped me out uh, a lot in this video. It allowed me to, to do symmetry a little bit better. And that was something I had troubles with before too. Um, the whole thing, the, the whole time I was like between episodes today, just or between the last time I recorded and this one, my whole thought was that I need to figure out a way to, to create some more um, detail. I guess that's a decent way to put it. I need some more detail within those um, high-rise, I guess, half a hexagon. Are they hexagon? They're eight. Octagon, right? One, two, it must be eight. So I just really wanted to make, see this is another thing, it's base two and I need three, but then that looks weird, so I have to, to get creative on it, and we're going to put these um, highlighting blocks on top of it. So I, I like the way that turned out, I also found the wood there, we'll get more into that in the future, but I, I just can't find a way to block off that, that entrance so it looks better. And then I, I try to put that, that in there and it's too wide, and I try putting that in there and it's too wide, and there's nothing that fits that I could find that's just one single block wide. And I'm, I'm going through all the other parts just to, to see what I can find. So, yeah, literally I, I clicked through pretty much everything to, to figure out a good way, and I ended up settling on, on this wooden stuff. I, I really like the way that this stuff looked. Um, and it kind of goes with it, and we can actually change the color. I didn't do that with uh, when I was recording, um, but we can change the color of it to make it look better. That's one thing I want to do in the future here is go through and change the color of even the brick. So I put these little highlighting blocks on, and I think it looks fantastic. And look at that, I figured out the copy and paste mechanic. And it works pretty good to, to go back like this, and I, I like that. It's a little bit short, though, on the sides, so I'll probably... I, I'm pretty sure I redo those, but I make these little towers up a little bit higher, and then I put these blocks on top, just to give it some more depth and some more details to it. See, that? that's really starting to turn out nicely now, isn't it? Um, so, I gotta figure out a way. Oh, I found these the curved arches, too, and it... I don't really know what to think of curved arches on everything that's, like, square and octagon just the wrong kind of look to it and especially in that location it made it look like eyebrows or eyelashes and I was like mm, it's okay and then I couldn't fit anything else in there uh, nothing fit in the exact spot so I just got rid of it and um, well I tried again and I, I couldn't center it over top of the the hexagon area insert there so I don't I don't know and uh, nah. <laughs> just just Get rid of it. It's gross. Nobody likes it anymore. Uh, so putting some more floors on, I'm about ready to, to set up another layer just to see what we can do. Um, yep, and then we... I wanted to try going back like that and, and see how it worked, but I decided against that too. And I thought maybe like blocking it off entirely would look good. But it's still just too short. I think that's what the main problem was. It was just too short. And I wanted to put in some more of these highlighting blocks. I really like the way that that looked with the highlights on the on the bottom side. So uh, I messed this up and bring it over, push it back and down. And it seemed to work out pretty good. And I tried copying and pasting it over there, but it doesn't work. And I found that thing. I'll have to use that eventually too. Just a, um, a windowsill or something. So we drop this down. 
and um, I couldn't figure out because we have the, the X button opens up some sort of super duper mode for um, moving parts and I couldn't quite figure out how to get it to come up every single time see look at that looks pretty cool doesn't it we could put one more of these in here one more in there maybe one more down in the bottom perfect look at that just a just a little bit of highlight really helps out really makes it um, stand out a little bit I tried putting the wood back over um, I couldn't figure out a way to get the wood to go vertically um, the horizontal worked pretty good but uh, the vertically works nicely as well or the, the horizontal works good I couldn't get it to go vertically to finish up those little bits so yeah that looks uh, pretty good for uh, a good start here today and we're what uh, that would be about 20 minutes into building so it's uh, four times that's a, a good question uh, it was about four times in um, that's how fast I speed it up four times and the music I'm using is the main title theme of the game so this is actually in-game sound so I have a lot of questions with that I got rid of that background and I thought it would be a good idea to raise this center part up raise the center part up so we can just get a little more um, detail and do it and we'll see how it looks I, I don't settle on it because I, I want a little more detail in the corners so We'll see how it goes from there. I honestly don't really remember this part of it right now. Okay, and then I, I bring this back around the corners too. So that looked pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I can, you can just move it just ever so slightly, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then I tried thinking like circle-y things and just to give it more texture. And I, I had the same problem. Like you, you couldn't create something in the front to make it look right. So if we did it in the back, then we hit it with a, an arch. How would that look? I really like these arches, but I don't, it didn't really work there because it's literally right above the other arch. And I don't know, it didn't make much sense to me as a, a castle point of view. Tried doing some other pillars and man, yeah, that didn't really do anything for me either. I probably could, or I could run these current pillars up, the main front pillars up a little bit, and uh, just, I decided not to go with like any of these circle things eventually. I did check out this though, these hex hexagon corners with the doorways in it. I really like the way those look. I might be using those at the top somewhere. Uh, I have not decided fully yet on how, how I'm going to implement them, because that looks pretty cool. Uh, I do try down below. And it just, I don't know. It didn't match up with the the octagon below it. So uh, eventually I just get rid of it. I gotta make the, the good flooring in there. It looks cool, but it's just, it's off. It's not straight lines. And, and that's what I really was going for, was the straight lines. And then I tried doing the, the, the slope. And that, I mean, that doesn't look good either. So just continue on. And uh, I hit a lot of deleting and then a lot of inventory management trying to find these stupid walls and eventually get them in and then it gives me the idea that it's sitting back so I might as well do some sort of uh, cutback like this. And I, I started really liking that. Uh, it really grew on me quickly and might as well throw these walls back just a little bit more too. So it gives it a little more depth on the top side. So those will go down. Perfect. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So now I got more of the wood, and I put the wood there just for a little texture, make it look fine. And uh, then we put some more of these guys in. Trying to highlight all of our stuff. See, this is, I got the, that, um, this system up. I don't know how that worked. And now it's me thinking, like, how am I going to do this front? Um, that was that was what I was thinking there, but I decided to just avoid the front and try to make this thing a little bit bigger and, and get an understanding of what's going to happen on the top side. So I put in some walls and I want to put arches in because this is actually two blocks wide here and I have a little hard time getting it to sit right uh, in the right spot. And I'm still getting used to the controls again because it has been so long since I've played and I didn't really play all that much to begin with. Uh, rather than just throwing things together. So yeah, look at this. This is the way This is the way the game is meant to be played now, where you get uh, some really cool stuff up top. And uh, let's see, what am I looking for? 
Oh yeah, this stuff. So this was a, a problem too. It doesn't really match up too too well. Uh, we'll switch to the back side here, and it's one inserted. And I might be using the wrong one because that's like I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> All right, so we got the main main part down. I, I do like that hexagon that I, I bumped back just a little bit. And decided to, to block off these walls and try to put some more of that palisade up. But I have the same problem that it's one wide, or it's two wide instead of being one or three wide. And I, I can leave a gap or I can just not. <laughs> and then I try to mix it up with one of the, the diagonal pieces and it, it doesn't fit on there right. So I don't know, it's it's wonky. And then I copy and paste over, and I like it, but it's too short, if that makes sense. So I can delete those and make another, make another hexagon? I don't know what to call those, I guess they're octagons. I bring that up a little bit more because I do feel that it's too short, like that, and we'll delete all that, and then we'll copy this guy over on the other side eventually. As soon as I fix it, because it's one block down on the right, of the two. So bring that back up. And this is where it starts to get pretty difficult in in making the parts because uh, we don't have anything to lay them on. So the, the copy and the pasting is, is the way to go right now. You get the idea to use that as a doorway and, and then we can put in another block in the back. But I still have the same old problem of not being able to block that top in. The, the one wide there. And I, I hope I'm just missing something, but I don't think I am. I think it's actually not in the game of having something that can fit in there as a, a piece. So make the flooring in, and we'll see how that looks. Copy it all from left to right. I have to place it in. Look how much easier that is. That is awesome. Copy and paste function. I don't remember of a game that makes the copying and pasting so easy and so natural and so um, intuitive as this game. Even the, the, the copy, the copy is control D and to move something is just uh, M. Check this out, I found the the painting tool so you can make patterns and stuff on the, on the rock. So you might do some more, we might make it darker. Uh, if you have any ideas on what colors you'd like to see this thing turn into, it might be very nice of you to tell me because I love the texture of it, but having having everything like red, red and gray didn't look so great. I tried green, which was kind of cool. Make it look like a creeper. I bet you could make a creeper, couldn't you? You got the green texture on it. So I, I blocked these off. Um, that was a little bit difficult to do too, because I, I wanted one on the inside. I wanted it on yeah on the inside of it, but it wouldn't go. And I couldn't figure out how to use the the X key to make that special mode. So look at that. It's come along pretty nicely today. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was to bring that up. Um, bring that little cross thing and tip it, like mirror it to the top. But I, I realized that it's got a texture on it and it's not flat. So it doesn't work nicely. I didn't want it to look like that. I wanted it to be inverted so that the flat side was on the top. So I found these little structures, we're gonna put these in, and this should give it some more depth and some more some more life inside. And that copy paste is so nice. Except you can't flip, or I couldn't figure out how to flip upside down. So we'll just have to put these in, do a little edit, copy and paste it over there. That's starting to look really nice now. Almost menacing inside of there. Now if we could put some scenery things in there, that'd be nice too. So this is where I decided to, to block those up. And we're gonna make this non-functioning and just put a regular red door in there. Uh, we could change out the door type in the future, but I think that one's okay. Still tinkering with a little bit of the um, the colors. And then putting on a seal or or whatever else I can find on the front, because I just need to break up that texture piece, because there's there's nothing, there's literally nothing there. So I eventually find the, the buccaneer sword and we'll place that there. Delete that castle and um, there it is. What, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm, I'm still trying to, to figure out a way to do that. But I did run into the problem in the background where I literally can't um, attach to anything. There's that Buccaneer sword. I don't like it there, but uh, it works for now. Um, still works pretty good. See, I'm trying to, to put that in, and I really need to make a new track of the audio. <laughs> you can hear me mashing on the keyboard. That's because I was copying and pasting the um, that main title track of the game. 
So yeah, that is it. That's what I've got for us today. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know the colors that you like. And uh, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.